all right friends today i'm going to show you guys how to cook your rice without a pressure cooker or insta pot the regular ancient old fashioned way which is the right thing to do because as you know rice has a lot of arsenic and other chemicals for those of you who are aware and worried about heavy metals rice does have a lot of arsenic and other heavy metals and chemicals which are harmful to our body and to our brain so to prevent that there are a few things that we could do never pressure cook your rice or do the insta part i know those are the easy ways but today i'm going to show you guys how to hand cook your own rice and i'm going to show you how much starch gets removed and a lot of people gain weight by uh, eating a lot of rice even if you eat little rice there's a lot of starch that's adding on to your weight so today i'm going to show you how you can also lose weight with your rice and the best way to cook your rice let's get started over here i have the asian kitchen the pony boiled rice you can use any rice of your choice for this recipe this is a boiled rice and over here i have taken two cups of uh, rice um, and i'm just going to wash it very nicely and soak it for half an hour and i'll be back all right friends i have triple washed it to remove the extra materials that may be containing in this uh, rice although we cannot remove the heavy metals just like that those are very powerful and sticky and uh, if you are not using organic rice then we are at a high risk of uh, intaking or ingesting a lot of heavy metals so here we go i have triple washed it and i have added two cups of water and now we are soaking it for 30 minutes okay over here i'm going to show you guys how i filled my water this is by the way the pure distilled water so for uh, one cup of rice you have to use eight cups of water that's uh, how we are going to uh, boil this and i'm going to show you how to do it. your very own hand cooked boiled rice over here and like i said you can use any rice of your choice i also do check my other video on indian groceries and other items where i have shown different kinds of rice spices and everything for your stocking needs so you don't have to run out when you need those uh, ingredients to make your favorite recipes from my channel um, so over here we are going to let it um, boil a little bit before we add on our rice my stove is on high heat right now i'll be back all right in the meanwhile i am going to show you guys how the filtered water from the rice the boiled rice looks like so initially it looks very thin like water and after a while it gets thickened up and thickened up i'm going to show you guys after two or three hours how it looks this is the uh, uh, former serving that we did for this morning but i am doing another recipe to show you guys how to make your hand cooked rice but just a heads up to show you guys how much starch gets relieved outside of this uh, boiled rice and if you don't boil your rice and you use the pressure cooked or insta pot rice you are going to consume all of that because once the rice is cooked it's very hard to remove it unless you hand boil it okay now it is steaming a bit now is the time to add our rice here i have drained the water from our uh, rice and now i'm adding it slowly so after soaking it for half an hour i washed it one more time so it is triple washed right now you can also soak it overnight and wash it one more time in the morning and that would be the best for absorption and digestion issues as well so over here uh, we are just going to let it cook for another 15 to 20 minutes and i will be occasionally stirring it so it doesn't get burnt in the as you can see we see this little bubbles over here as it is cooking and the rice is coming to the top right now all right now we are cooking fast as i told you guys earlier the rice is coming up to the top and it looks like it is almost cooked but how do we find this out so take one rice and one or two rice and then try to split it and if it is soft and it splits perfect then it is done some people like a little bit mushy little more mushy if you like it you can leave it on for a little longer but i think my rice is done like i mentioned before occasionally give it a stir so it doesn't get burnt in the bottom the next step while this is cooking is we have to get a hollow uh, pan like this and then take a colander like this for us to filter the rice so i'm going to turn off my stove at this point and i'm going to know my rice and i'm going to place this over here so we can start draining it 
make sure your pan is wide mount so it's easier so the rice water doesn't spill everywhere i'm going to show you guys also the difference between the rice water that we did it right now and the one that we did it this morning so as it cools down it gets thicker and thicker with the rice starch of course we can use them for our other needs like uh, removing scalp damage and you can use it for uh, hair growth and there's so many things that you can use with that rice water so we don't have to waste it all the time now i'm just getting all the rice water out and straining it slowly this is super hot so we have to make sure you do it in stages so here it is and i'm going to show you the water over here it's piping hot right now and it looks very very thin like any kind of water but as it cools down like i said before it's going to get thicker and thicker and it's going to make a gooey form okay i'm going to go throw this water and i'm going to start filtering more okay let's start draining more we still have more and the key to this is you have to start draining right away once you think your rice is done you cannot leave it there for like even five minutes because the starch will gain control and it will blend into your rice so that's what happens when you when you cook your rice with the instapot or the pressure cooker because there's no way you can remove the starch so this is piping hot so don't do it with your hand um, okay here we go and now i'm just going to shake it a little bit so it's evenly spread and the water can drain so you don't want to remove this right now you just keep it there until the you just keep it there so you can see the drops still uh, getting control here and uh, we just have to stop it here and uh, let it cool and uh, let it completely drain and i'm just going to go ahead and put a lid on top so it is safe over here i have taken a uh, a bowl like this just to show you guys the difference between uh, the rice water three hours back and the rice water right now this is the rice water which is still hot right now that we cooked uh, a minute back and i'm just going to put it and show you how uh, plain and thin this is and this is the rice water we did three hours back and as you can see color is a little different and then look at that it's a little thick and you can see the starch coming out and I'm going to keep both of this and after a few hours I will show you the difference. Over here, this is what you see. This is the, this is the starch from the rice water. And if we don't filter this and don't do hand cooked rice, this is what goes into your system. And uh, starch converts into sugar, carbohydrates convert into sugar and you know what happens next. Okay, I'm going to pour this and show you guys how thick the starch has become. We definitely have to throw this right away, but I have kept it to show you guys. I'm going to pour this into this bowl to show you guys how thick this is. This is the starch. So it's not like a watery consistent anymore, like you saw right away. So here we go. We can use it for our uh, hair spray, for um, hair loss treatment and a lot of other stuff which I will show you in the future videos but right now we are going to throw this. Even for those videos we have to make it instant. And I will show you how our rice has done. 